almost see this vehicle doing what my CEO and I envisioned back in 2018 for making very dangerous work a lot safer. And to me, that's, that's why we work, is to try and make a difference. So I'm hoping that uh, we can sit down next time and I can say, I've seen the difference. And it's about to change everything. Once we saw the truck go outside was the end of a very specific objective. Testing is really proving out what we've done and hopefully we've done it correctly. Once we went from the build stage to the testing stage, everybody on the team turned into troubleshooting detectives. Now we were all deducing what we were looking at, what we were expecting to see, and what we were seeing. Yeah, the gravel pit was a good kind of introductory place to test the vehicle, good controlled settings that we kind of reproduce multiple times over. The gravel pit was the first indication of the truck getting dynamic is when it really started to see angles and slopes to actually start making the vehicle react. Uh, especially when it's no road mode, we were now starting to see the truck electronically and mechanically working together. This was a all systems working in, in harmony. Right off the hop, we were noticing highly dynamic, high angle maneuvers that were never possible in a regular pickup truck. The electronic system was telling the hydraulic system, was telling the mechanical system, and they were all working in harmony to produce the results that we wanted. You know, I passed that baseline test, went out there, did what it needed to do, and then we just wanted to grow on it. So far, we've been trying to get kind of a high level of the system working. There's been a number of little um, changes to the way that the hardware works and the way that we simulated. So we're, we're kind of closing those off and then we'll be moving into more of a fine tuning so that it just, it, it's smoother and operates with the best performance possible. Testing wise, we push all these things through their paces to see if they'll break. We have a certain list of requirements that the vehicle needs to do. Commissioning takes it to a level of all parties agree that it does what they said it would do from the beginning. Once we've completed commissioning, we're, we're able to hand the keys over to somebody for, for the weekend and go to sleep at night and not worry about a catastrophic failure on the vehicle. So as we started to push the technology through our commissioning plan and solving our problems, we were finding the technology was holding up to the rigors that uh, we expected. And we uh, then invited uh, professional drivers to assess the technology from an independent third party perspective. Oh, just, just ask me the questions and I'll go. Yeah. So tell me. Hi, my name is Chris Walker. I'm the owner and uh, director of Overland Training Canada. Uh, initial impressions, I'm really, really intrigued to see what this does. Having a look around it, I have a sense of what it might be capable of. But since it's such a unique platform, I'm 
genuinely excited to get in and see how it performs. You want to set up for sure. in the cab outside of cab. Okay. Two down here and one incredible one up here. So awesome. let's have a quick look over here. And we're in low range. That's awesome. Unlocked, but we're in low, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we'll need a locker, but let's see. As long as the automation keeps lots of ground pressure. Uh, these tires are pretty awesome. I don't think uh, there's any reason why we should have a problem. How steep is that? 26. Maxed out at 26. Easy, like butter. Holy smokes, that's amazing. It was real world and it was the perfect opportunity to put a real world driving instructor in a real world scenario and get a, an exact first time comparison. And the reaction was you know, immensely positive right from the get go. I've got a tiny bit of ground slip here, but that's just weight of the vehicle. Yeah. I get in and out of lots of different types of vehicles and there's lots of amazing vehicles out there, but this just literally blew my socks off. The ability for this to traverse terrain and make maneuvers that I've never experienced before or looked at before and gone, not a chance. This truck made it look easy. I think the most impressive part of it, when I sit there looking and evaluating a vehicle, I think of things like heart rate. I think of things like my nervousness or my tension level. Uh, none of that happened. Not once was I gripping the steering wheel tighter. Not once was I looking at a line, wondering whether I was gonna succeed or not. And I got out of it refreshed, happy, like excited. I can't fully describe it. We were delighted with the feedback we received from the professional drivers as they indicated they had not seen performance like this in vehicles that they had driven in the past. And these professionals have had exposure to, in some cases, hundreds of different 4x4 configurations. And in this mode, the differentials are locked? Nope. This no, we have, it's manual okay. locked up the top there, but we haven't needed it. So that was open differentials with no wheel spin. Exactly. The ability for this vehicle to ensure that each one of the tires is pushing into the ground to the maximum amount, increasing our traction to the highest level, was breathtaking. Absolutely no way I would have pulled that move off. Absolutely no way. That move you just did? 100% not. In, in, in any other vehicle you've driven before? Never, not even in close. <laughs> the ability for the cab to stay relatively flat was staggering and what that does in terms of capability reduces the amount of wheel spin, reduces the amount of stress I had, reduces the impact to the environment, makes the whole traversing of that piece of terrain so much safer. That was a very validating compliment for us and they were specifically commenting on the vehicle's ability to automate the suspension and all of the decisions that they used to have to make they didn't have to think about them the same way anymore. And in fact, it was starting to recalibrate how they viewed four-wheel driving in general. Yeah, so this slow speed, it's four-wheel steering. <laughs> so that, that was correcting about six or seven degrees. Easily. For the body versus the, the powertrain. Yeah. Like, there's no way. There's no way I would turn around on that. <laughs> no way proof in the pudding was while we had a professional driving instructor there we put in a brand new rookie in the truck and with I believe it was about 15 seconds of instruction on how to work the throttle and brake those two with the rookie in the driver's seat took this thing up a slope that he would never send a professional up or himself up in a regular pickup truck and it was done in a very safe calm manner. I think the ability for any level of worker who has some driver education, even at a low level, that driver has the ability to get into this vehicle, allow its automation systems to, to work, to get you across terrain that's probably been unheard of or unseen before 
on a vehicle like this. You guys, when we're done this, I want, I want the keys back. <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic, genuinely fantastic. Uh, seeing almost the amazement in, the, in these professional drivers, they've been driven every off-road vehicle there is to drive and uh, they've not come across one like this. So that was amazing. So today we're commissioning off-road mode with full payload. And so far, so good. We don't think that it will break, but if something breaks, we want to see it here when we're testing it to its uh, limits. We are we are putting it uh, to its test full capacity. I think the most surprising element of the commissioning process so far has been the deep durability that has been designed into this. We knew with the suppliers we'd selected that we were going to receive some very durable product, but it also meant we had to design its integration in a durable way and also fabricate all its integration pieces in a durable way as well. Yeah, I mean, it's been exciting just to drive it around, push the limits. The fact that we still haven't hit it's impressive. And we continue to run into these scenarios where keeps surprising us on the capabilities, its robustness, just seeing where we could go with this and how we can fine tune this vehicle. It's gonna be hard to stop it. Commissioning is a, is a big milestone. This is now a point where the truck can stretch its legs and really start proving to industry and people in the real world that this thing's legit. This isn't just a, a concept anymore. Now people can believe that this is the real deal. I'm most looking forward to offering industry a, a chance to experience this vehicle and for them to show us what sort of efficiencies are available. We understand, I think, some of the inherent safety advantages and ecological advantages that this vehicle will present, but what we have not and will not understand fully until we engage with industry partners is how they can utilize this to its maximum benefit, how their operations can become so much more efficient by harnessing the power of this technology. That's what I'm most excited to see now.